When I go to universities, usually speak to the youth, I tell them, Akhi, uh, what do you remember from the hadith, man? When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mentioned uh, four criteria for the sister to look for, to, met, to wed. What, is, what do you think number one on the... On the <laughs> yeah, I remember the hadith, man. What do you remember? Lijamaliha, uh, of course. For her beauty, man. It's true. It's very true. Beauty is actually there. Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, he actually mentioned that, and we'll, you know, we'll take the, 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 the reason we say that for, not here, but another, another step. But Islam is a practical religion. It's true. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mentioned these four criteria for a reason. So you want to look for a beautiful wife. Because if you don't have a beautiful wife, according to your standards of the eye of the beholder, inshallah, because you walk downtown or somewhere in Australia in the summertime, may Allah help you, inshallah, or on university campus, and you see things, <laughs> sisters in humanity walking around. And now, you go home and look to your <laughs> wife and then right you said I should have listened to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu <laughs> so the four criteria are there but when I asked the brother what do you really want he says أريدها بيضاء طويلة شعرها كالحرير غير متجعد في كل لون متجدد لها لون في النهار ولون بالليل لا I want her to be tall and white beautiful silky hair has a, a different color during the day different color during the night <laughs> إذا رأيتها من بعيد if you see her from far she's beautiful and if she comes close, she's even more beautiful. As if she's riding a horse. <laughs> Here comes the horse again. What's up with that, man? كانت غنية ثم افتقرت She was rich, then became poor. فلها عز الغنى ودل الفقر She was rich and became poor, so she now has that pride, that arrogance, the nobility of that wealth. But she's also humble and modest when it comes to poverty. تعطف على الصغار وتكرم الكبار ولا تضار الجار. She's kind to the young, gentle, and respects the old, good with the neighbors. I mean, the list is so long. You know, Al Qattan Zala Nakhayda says, "Wallahi, لو رأينا هذه المرأة لا بايعناها على الخلافة." By Allah, if we find this woman that you have all these criteria for, we would have, then what? Put her as an Amir Mu'mineen, man. We took an oath, yes, so go ahead, you can lead this Ummah. But then that same brother that is coming to look for all these things in that future wife, you look at him and he looks like this. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Allah Musta'ala. So we put pressure on ourselves for not being realistic and not heeding to that. Islamic marriage strategies and the Quran and the Sunnah, inshaAllah. So there are two criteria for the sisters and four criteria for the brothers, inshaAllah. We are not going to emphasize that. But I want to give you one thing. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu has given you one that you cannot go without. Which one is that? The deen. Very good. So I will give you with a one visual that hopefully you will not forget. Okay? So we now know that Lijamaliha, her beauty is a given. As we mentioned, Islam is a practical religion. And now the wealth, the lineage, the family, and the deen. So number one on Prophet Muhammad's list, the most important of all, is the deen. So we'll put it up. Deen is number one. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha.
ilaha illallah subhanallah walhamdulillah